Hi everyone. Golden Hind was a galleon captained by Francis Drake in his circumnavigation of the world between 1577 and 1580. She was originally known as Pelican, but Drake renamed her mid-voyage in 1578, in honor of his patron, Sir Christopher Hatton, whose crest was a golden hind a female red deer. Hatton was one of the principal sponsors of Drake's world voyage. A full-sized, seaworthy reconstruction is in London, on the south bank of the Thames. Queen Elizabeth I partly sponsored Sir Francis Drake as the leader of an expedition intended to pass around South America through the Strait of Magellan and to explore the coast that lay beyond. The Queen's support was advantageous, Drake had official approval to benefit himself and the Queen, as well as to cause the maximum damage to the Spaniards. This eventually culminated in the Anglo-Spanish War. Before setting sail, Drake met the Queen face to face for the first time and she said to him, We would gladly be revenged on the King of Spain for divers injuries that we have received. The explicit object was to find out places meet to have traffic. Drake, however, acted as a privateer, with unofficial support from Elizabeth. Golden Hind is described as a mid 16th century warship during the transition from the Carrack to the Galleon, and weighed about 120 tons. He first named his flagship Pelican, but renamed her Golden Hind on 20 August 1578 to honor his patron, Sir Christopher Hatton, whose family crest was a Golden Hind. He set sail in December 1577 with five small ships with a complement of 164 and reached the Brazilian coast in early 1578. On the 1st of March 1579, now in the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Ecuador, Golden Hind challenged and captured the Spanish galleon Nuestra Señora de la Concepción. This galleon had the largest treasure captured to that date, over 360,000 pesos, equivalent to around £480 million in 2017. The treasure took six days to transship and included 26 tons of silver, half a ton of gold, porcelain, jewelry, coins, and jewels. On the 26th of September 1580, Francis Drake sailed his ship into Plymouth Harbor with 56 of the original crew of 80 left aboard. The ship was unloaded at Tremerton Castle nearby, supervised by the Queen's guards. The final treasure also included six tons of cloves from the Spice Islands, at the time worth their weight in gold. Elizabeth herself went aboard Golden Hind, which was then permanently at Deptford on the south bank of the Thames, where she had requested it be placed on permanent display as the first museum ship. There, she shrewdly asked the French ambassador to bestow a knighthood on Drake. Over half of the proceeds went to the crown, her share of the treasure came to at least £160,000, enough to pay off her entire government debt and still have £40,000 left over to invest in a new trading company for the Levant. After Drake's circumnavigation, Golden Hind was maintained for public exhibition at the dockyard at Deptford, London. The ship remained there from 1580 to around 1650, 45 years after Elizabeth had died, before the ship eventually rotted away and was broken up. In 1668, the keeper of the stores at Deptford, John Davis of Camberwell, had the best remaining timber of Golden Hind made into a chair which was presented to the Bodleian Library at the University of Oxford, where it remains, with a replica in the Great Hall, Buckland Abbey, Devon, Drake's home and now maintained by the National Trust.
Thanks for watching.